Have you ever wondered how you can increase your fees or increase your prices? Or maybe you're just afraid to do it. Well, today, I'm going to give you three tips on how you can increase your fees and increase your prices. Hey, I'm Mark Nelson. I'm so happy you're here. I know you're going to get great value out of this. If you're watching on video, please subscribe to my channel. Hit that little bell for notifications and share it because I give great tips every time I come on. So today what we're talking about is three tips. Three tips on how you can increase your fees or your prices. And it's easier than you think. The first one, you have to have like what they call as a positioning strategy. How do you position yourself? I think when everybody starts out, and I know I did, so maybe this is, I'm just talking about me, is that what I did when I first started, I wanted to make money. Right? So I wanted to just get something out there that I could make money on. I didn't really think about what I was doing, if that makes sense. But then what happened, I started focusing on the results I could give for my students, I could get for people buying my courses, I transformed my thinking. I wasn't trying to make money per se. I mean, of course it comes because as soon as I started focusing on results on what they would get, how I could improve them, then my business increased. So the one thing, the very first thing, is focus on their results. So say you're, if you're a health coach and you're teaching people how to lose weight. Right? And that's not me. And I have lost weight, but I did it because I had to. <laughs> anyway, I don't have a system to teach people how to lose weight. But if you are building a product that you're going to teach people how to build, how to lose weight, excuse me, then focus on the transformation you're going to give them. You know, if you want to teach them how to lose 10 pounds in 30 days, focus on what you can do to help your student, the person buying your course, on how to lose that 10 pounds. That is how everything starts working for you and how you can increase your prices or your fees. Now, the second tip. This is huge produce great content. I'm going to talk different things here. You always hear about give out value. Well, produce great content. You know, if you're on YouTube, if you're on Facebook, if you're on LinkedIn, always start thinking about, again, the result you want somebody to have. So end up producing great content. Now, when I started out, now I'm going to talk about something else here, but when I started out, I was nervous. I didn't think I had value. But I started learning, and everything I learned, I put out in content. And I got it started getting better at putting out content on Facebook, putting out content in my YouTube, putting out content in my podcast. I just got better because I concentrated on, again, doing something for my clients, doing something for the people buying my courses. So produce great content. Now, here's the next thought. See, as you get better with your content, write a publication for somebody else. If you're a writer, do a blog post for somebody else. Write an article for Forbes, Huffington Post. Put it on LinkedIn that you're looking to share this with people. Get on somebody else's podcast. Let them interview you to, know, to let their audience know that you have value. I know you can do it, but that's just the next step is sharing what you have through other people's channels and you can do it, but start producing great content by yourself. That's how you get noticed. Do it organically. That's how I started until you know you have good content and people are following you. Then you can go to pay to ads if that's what you want to do. But that's, I started with doing it organically and just start building. The third tip is you have to communicate your difference. 
Now, if you're a coach, there are a bunch of coaches out there. And they're all really pretty good. If you do info products, create courses, there's a bunch of courses out there. And my guess is the course you have, somebody else already has. So communicate your difference. And we're all different. See, here's what I talk about. I'm a former teacher, a math teacher. I mean, I didn't know anything about content. I didn't know anything about coaching. I didn't know anything about creating courses. I didn't know anything about doing a podcast. What I did know, I knew how to learn. And when I knew how to learn, I knew how to put it in an organized way to teach people how they can learn. That's the strength of me being a teacher. Now, you don't have to be a teacher to do that. But that's what my education was for. So when I communicate my difference, I tell people I know how to reverse engineer things. Meaning, if you want to get this transformation, if you want to lose 10 pounds, I know how I can get you there. I know I can go, okay, you want to weigh, let's say, I'm 205. I want to weigh 195 in 30 days. So I look at the 195, okay, and I start thinking about how to get somebody there, how much weight, 30 days, 10 pounds. For some people, that's a lot of weight. But if you reverse engineer it and show them what they be, need to be doing each week, each day, you'll get them there. So communicate your difference. What are you different at than the other coaches out there? What is your knowledge? What is your background? What are your life experiences? That's what people want to know. And if you tell your story, guess what? There's people out there just like you that are waiting to hear your story and waiting for you to help them in your transformation. So there you have it. There you have my three tips to increase your fees or your prices. I know you can do this. Hey, in the description down below, I have a couple of great freebies. One, if you'd like to brainstorm with me, I have a, a link down there is marknelsononline.com forward slash call. Just put in the time. And if you can't find a time, reach out to me. We'll just get together with a short call or a Zoom call, whatever is convenient for you. And we will brainstorm. That's all it is. I was going to say barnstorm, the wrong word. But we'll brainstorm together. See if we can help each other. So there you have it. You take care. Don't be afraid to raise your prices. Don't be afraid to raise your fees. You can do this. Talk to you soon.